I just thought I'd do a, an interim video here again. Uh, I've only been working about 10, 15 minutes since the last video. Uh, and I, shot, I thought I'd show you a, a, a mistake that uh, I've, was easily rectified, but still a, a mistake that can cause some issues if you don't spot it. Firstly, you'll notice I've got these rear keel and these three formers in. And then, as I said, I was going to um, put former nine in place. So I did what I said I was going to do and I cut the triangle out of former nine. I might have put the wrong piece of wood up there, but it doesn't matter. I cut the triangle out of former nine and then I offered it up into place. And it sits well in this position and this position. So I was quite happy with that. But then I've just noticed that as I've come to have a look at the smooth planking run that I was talking about before, it's completely the wrong shape. And it's no good because you can't go from this former here to this former here in a smooth line. You don't know with a huge big kink in the boat. That's just not right. So it immediately stood out as being wrong. So I got the drawings out. Again, kept the drawings. So we have uh, accurate reference to them. I just managed to drop them on the floor. And I revisited the drawings and it became apparent immediately upon revisiting drawings that I'd misinterpreted the drawing for former station 10, either misinterpreted it or just drawn, accidentally drawn the line for former station, sorry, nine, accidentally drawn the line for former station 10. So it became very apparent very quickly what I'd done wrong. And I'd ended up with a former that was that shape. And I should have ended up with a former that was that shape. So you can see it's quite a big mistake. Again, it's purely down to me misinterpreting the drawing, that's all. But a second look meant I could just cut it away. So now I can offer this piece up to where it's supposed to go. That point meets that point. This point sits on the hull. And now I end up with a much better shape. Might need finessing further. I don't think that far off though, but much better shape. You can see the difference in the material I've cut off. That's what the formal looked like when I've made it a mistake and got it wrong. That's what the formal looks like when it's right. So I just thought I'd point that out. Nothing to stress about. If you make a simple mistake, dead easy. Worst case now, I've cut an entire new form, but don't let them, or don't let the model beat you in terms of determination. And if something's not right, just have a look at it. There's almost nothing you can't fix when you're building a model like this. There are a few things you can't fix, but even even later on, if you'd built a twist into the hull, you wouldn't have to scrap it. You'd just simply have to knock it back to the point where there's no planking on and start planking on a flat surface again. So at every point, if there's a mistake, it can be revisited and corrected um, all the way through to the end of the boat, really. Uh, if you weren't happy with the shape, we can modify it with a bit of filler or whatever, if, you know, or cut it out and replank. So there's, there's nothing that can go wrong that can stop us continuing. But what we have to do is make sure on components like this that create shapes that things are in the right place. And now we know we've got rid of that material. The form is the right shape. Okay, okay.